Now, this part of this tutorial, what we'll be dwelling on is um, how to use your basic, using, using basic chord to start, sound advanced. Now, one thing you notice about me is that I hardly play my do chord like this. No, I make sure I slow from the second note to the me. I'm sorry, the middle note in between. The so, you hear, so this for my so, do me so, I slow my read to my me. For my father do, I slow my so to my la. For my, my so I slow my la, slow my la to see. So, this is what I basically do when I have to play a major chord. So, for example, I could do, if you see. So, what I did, I, instead of staying, instead of, I did this, then I go, went to my do, re. So, you hear this chord a lot in, when they want to start worship. Hallelujah. Let's worship God. You hear this? So, all right, so that's just one. Then on my far, I do the same thing on my far. So what I do again sometimes is mi, re, mo, re, do, mi, re, mo. But my hand will still be on my saw. Sometimes I remove it. So you could just re, mo, re, do. So just you could see it uh, on my soul. Same thing. So I could do. You let, you let me do that again. We have done so much. We have done much for me. I cannot tell you. Uh, yeah. You heard it there. So you heard it there. So that's just it. So as I'm showing a concept, I'll be trying as much as possible to actually show applications. So another thing I do with my major chords is most times I use it to create melody if I'm going somewhere. So we have a song going to. So okay, so let's say cast casting crown. So instead of going to casting crown, I could go. So I will come to the extension. So you can see. Do. So. So I slowed. So zila. So. So you learn how to slow like this. So whenever I want to slow this kind of slow, I do this. These two no, these two hands. So you could just do yara. So you can see. Okay. So it sometimes it just makes your play full instead of just play. It's make sound empty. So. So, do re mi fa mi re do something like that. That was what I did. So, so just I just walk. So, red OT. So, what I'm just doing, combining everything together. So, that's how to use your basic uh, uh, major chord. So, you could do that. Like, so, that's inversion for ending of a song. I just want to simple so another thing you could use your major chord is um 
your major chord, um, your do can go well, sound sweet with your fa and with your re. For example, we just want baba o eshe. We won't believe this is a just major chord. Mi do so la la do fa so do mi mi so do do mi so. Dance my re. So there are a lot of things you could just do with just a major chord. So I want you to learn the inversion. So for example, you hear me do stuff like on my six. I just want to say baba o she. I just want to say baba o she. Ah baba o she. Maybe if I want to turn around. On my six, I do this a lot. But it's just basic. Fa, mi, re. But my re, I'm slowing to my T. Especially when I'm going to my re, I do this. So I do something like, I just want to say, Baba, you hear this a lot. So you hear this movement to your me most time. You hear this me do this. This is just five chords, so there. So, so you could do. So even to your me, you could do this. So it's you're just major chords. So that's what we are trying to create from it. Movement. So, so, so you could do. I've shown fa mi re or your la fa mi re or your mi. Then you could combine it this way or your fat your. Mi. Then. So that is fa mi re fa fa mi re di do. So very simple to my ring. So I believe that was um, the fact about that using major chords. You understand? Um, you could even do something like so. You could do baba o. This is just so chord, la with so chord, but it's sounding sweet. Baba o, baba o, she. So let's move to the next part. So. The next part will be discussing about